Good afternoon students and agencies. This is Blair Barnhart with the Barnhart Group. We're in the city of Marietta, Georgia on a hot sunny afternoon performing on the ground micro paver pavement evaluation. Uh, we've got Lindsay Barnhart with us today. Lindsay, it looks to me like we've found one of those rare situations when we've actually discovered 03 in your paver manual block cracking. Um, tell us uh, a little bit about what you're seeing here today in this particular cul-de-sac in the Barrett Green subdivision. Yes, Blair, you're right. This is a number three block cracking, a great example. Typically, we would have to wheel it off, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of what we're talking about. We know that this is block cracking because of this great 90 degree angle that you can see right here. Any tablet that you have, book, anything like I'm taking notes on this tablet, you can tell that it forms a great 90 degree angle. Oh my gosh, so it looks to me like the entire cul-de-sac is taking on this similar pattern. Uh, it looks like maybe a 20 or a 25 foot spacing, but it sure does look like a checkerboard square pattern, Lindsay. Um, so I understand based on the paver manual that you'd normally wheel an area off that was block cracked, but in this case, it looks like the entire cul-de-sac has the similar pattern. How are you going to go about measuring this? Yes, typically, like you said, we would have our wheel, we would wheel off the area, and if there are two types of severities, low, medium, or severe, we would designate one area for low, one area for medium, and then we would split the cul-de-sac. In this specific area, you can tell very definitely that this is block cracking. And it differs from alligatoring in the fact that alligatoring is typically smaller block areas where this, as we showed you before, is a correct 90 degree angle. Good. Well, in this case, we know typically uh, when we do the pavement evaluation that we, when we run off the measurements of the straightaways, we always add those up for the client. And we always tack on, was it 5,200 square foot for a 76 foot diameter cul-de-sac? Yes. And I think we wrote in our paver guide that we use 8,000 square feet for a 96 foot cul-de-sac. So Correct. in this case, are you just going to enter the data as a 5,200 square foot yes. severity yes. of low or medium? What are you thinking that this is going to be? Well, this typically right here, as you can tell, as we pointed out earlier, this seems to be more of a low severity. Okay. If it were between the two, then typically what we would do is to divide the cul-de-sac, one being low severity, one being medium severity. As you can see as you view the cul-de-sac, this is a great example of the block cracking number three that we have. In your resource manual, you can find it. It'll tell you exactly all about block cracking. It gives you the guidelines, one foot by one foot, all the way up to 10 feet by 10 feet, okay. like we have here, and a great 90 degree example to prove it. Well, that's great, Lindsay. Where can we find more information about this and other services that the Barnhart Group provides? www.thebarnhartgroup.com Great. Well, thanks for joining us today, Lindsay. Bye, y'all.